Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So I'm going to do one of my favorite things today, try to fix something. Uh, a guy I know online named Greg had uh, ordered this off of somewhere and uh, it came dead on arrival. Um, the company he contacted and they sent him out a brand new one. So he offered to send this to me to see if I could fix it and do whatever I want with it. So I was uh, interested because I always like to see if I can fix stuff. It's one of those clamp-on amp meters that you use to check your current and your wiring. Also has a probably has a multimeter as well. There we are there. I didn't know what the brand is, K Wheats. They come in all kinds of different brands. There we are there. It's quite a large one. I have kind of a mini one myself. Anyway, we'll take it apart, put some batteries in it first and see what uh, what we get. So I checked it, it definitely won't come on. So I use my uh, trusty old fluke multimeter here <laughs> to fix this multimeter. Check the batteries they gave them. 1.6, 1.58, 1.6, so the batteries look okay. So it looks like two screws here, bottom screw, and I found another one hidden under this QC past. <laughs> Guess it passed, but uh, didn't last. Should just pop apart now. There we go. Okay. Looks like they use a spring here and a spring here for the battery points. So. 4.5. I'm just going to try a, some clips over just to make sure it's not a, a poor connection. Okay, so it didn't wake up. Let's check the voltage here. 1.5 volts. Hmm, that's interesting. You would think it would be at least 4.5. I wonder if just the battery things are in wrong. Okay, so put the batteries in right, and now we have some life. It's come to life. Let's just put it back together and see if it works. Okay, it seems to be working, but my feeling is it's probably that uh, stupid arrangement where they're using springs to make the connection on the batteries there. So I think I'm going to take this thing apart and solder some wires between the connection points rather than counting because you see if I just let off a little bit of the tension on that then I lose it. So you know you're going to get a bad connection on that. I'm going to solder some wires see if that works. So I did a bit of investigation and it looks like these springs are just soldered onto the board. So I'm just going to nip them off and solder some wires to each one of those. The big trick to soldering boys and girls is to have enough heat to do the job quickly. Worst thing you can do is have a soldering iron that's not hot enough and you end up having to be on the joint too long. Now, these little battery tabs are uh, nickel coated so the solder doesn't really want to stick to them so I take a little file and file them down a bit, rough them up, try to get some of that nickel coating off and then I, I get a, a good blob of solder on there and then I pre-tin what I'm going to solder and then usually it just takes a quick movement hold it steady till it uh, cools and that should be good to go that feels pretty good okay all back together moment of truth time we go. Nice. Always a good feeling when you can make something work again. Let's maybe test it out on my solar panels, see what the kind of current they're getting right now. Nice, it works, it works. 
Oh, about five, a little over five amps. The sun's changing on the panels. Nice. So it has some pretty good features actually. I think I'm going to hang on to this one and use it for uh, my own testing. I have a little one called a Unity that I've had for a few years that I use. It's a little bit smaller. But this one has some uh, higher end uh, current and voltage measurements. Up here it's going 60, 600 amps. So the other one tops out at about 100 amps. And when I'm testing lithium batteries that kind of is a pain because some of them can uh, draw or put out more than 100 amps so this one would be nice to, for that also has a temperature probe which the other one doesn't have and a uh, little bit higher uh, voltage and stuff like that so that'll work out pretty good so you'll probably see this uh, used in some of my videos coming up till next time Ray from loveyourv.com thanks for watching everyone and a big thanks to Greg for sending this to me. Cheers, folks.